welcome to the Blueprint Channel, my name is Adam. Today I'm excited to announce the start of a new series called the London Project Series. This series is going to be filled with build reviews, cinematics, and project updates of the amazing work made by the London Project team. They are attempting to make a one-to-one -one scale replica of London right here in Minecraft, and I'm just so impressed by the work that they've done, and I'm super excited to start this series. All of their info will be in the description if you want to check them out, which I highly recommend because they're really good at what they do. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the London Waterloo train station built by Jay, one of the head lead builders of the project. Now before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the series and others. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in the project, and the first thing that you notice is these train models I was so taken aback when I saw these I mean just look at them they're so like they're just so nice and you know I I really I'm really impressed by these models I think that they work really well for the project you have the I mean it's just so detailed with the I mean, their resource pack they just did such you know like the models are you know I mean it, they're just so they add so much to the project they make it so much more immersive I mean just look at this it looks so realistic I mean even the cars are like you know they're like slanted differently and it makes it just so much more realistic I mean you know this is what I love about this project and this is the main reason why I'm so excited to review this is because just the whole project is just gonna be filled with little things like this actually bigger things because you know this is a really big detail that they have so you'll notice the train tracks um, these are actually, if I can, if I'm actually, I'm not sure. I was gonna say they they kind of look like anvils that were sort of made into the three D model, but I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do one episode where I just completely just go over the texture pack because it deserves, you know, its its own review. Um, I mean, look at these road markings. This is so realistic. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know compare to some um, you know to some actual roads in London, um, you know, and I'll show you guys that. But this is just so realistic. Here's the IMAX theater, which is going to be in another video. Um, oh my god, these arrows. I mean, this is just so cool. And th this is why I'm just so excited to do this. So, um, let's see. So, the, he, here's some windows. Um, this is one-to-one -one scale, which is actually different from what we do at Blueprint. Um, at Blueprint, we build on the 1.5-to-1 1 .1 scale. So, it's actually, you know, bigger. Like, this would be about 1.5 times as big in our resource pack. So, this is actually, if I go into F5 this is actually the correct scale for a human so a human would be just about as tall as this right and oh man like lo look at that tower this is just so I mean because it's one to one you lose a bit of detail in, in one to one scale but at the same time you have you have it just feels more realistic so anyways here's the front of the Waterloo station I guess you would say that it's the front of the Waterloo station I'm not sure the London Waterloo I was told is the correct way to say it so um, there as you can see they're planning more stuff over there um all all of these clay things that you're seeing like terracotta things are actually building masses and they're they're imported from some program which i'll get into in another video because it just deserves its own the project planning deserves its own video you know um it's just super impressive so um here we enter the actual station and <laughs> I mean, this is just so immersive. Like, I I've never really experienced a project in Minecraft that is just so, you know, immersive like this. Here we have the top of the station, you know, which is super detailed. Um, you have the lights, um, you know, like it's it's just you know you got the windows um, that are you know curved. And I mean, like if if we go outside again, it, yeah, if if we go out if we go outside, you'll just see it's like it's like how like this they was spent so much time on um the project builder started i believe june 20th and it took them about until like a week ago to finish it so i mean they almost spent um what two months on it and i'm really impressed even for two months which is you know quite a bit of time for a project this is so it's just so good like I mean and, and imagine how much work went into the top of the station I mean like and it looks so accurate to real life it's I'll, I'll attach some actual screenshots to you know that they use for the project so 
Um, anyways, here we are. Here's uh, the train tracks. You know, again, the train tracks are really realistic. You have these lights, which I think this is like, uh, these are also, I don't know, maybe they're carpets. Here, let's see. They are, yeah, they're carpets. Okay. Um, this is a custom texture. Um, this would be the waiting area. You'd stand right here, and then the, you know, the train would come, and then you be off on your way. Actually, no, the train, the train would, yeah, you, you get the point. I'm not like a, like a train guy. I'm an airplane guy. <laughs> so, um, I mean, yeah, he, I, I, I love the detail. I love the detail in this station. I mean, you have these, again, custom blocks just for the fact that, you know, there needs to be stoppers for the trains. Um, and it's just details like that. I mean, it's just so cool. Um, so let's head outside and um, again. And so here is, I guess these are just more, more train tracks. I'm not really sure how the station is set up. I'm guessing... Um, Hmm. I, w I wonder. I wonder. What, I mean, m maybe. Maybe. I bet you those are just like. Um. No. I guess it's just another station area. Um. Yeah. I'm. I, I think I should do more research on this because I mean it's just it's just super cool the way that this is set up. So let, let's see how far this goes. I'm curious. All right. So it comes out here, and um, you know, farther into the series, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do reviews on these buildings as well. You know. I mean, these buildings are just. All of this is just super realistic, um, and you know it's just really impressive. Here is, um, geez, I don't know what you, what you call those things. They're they're like the signs, you know, when you when you enter the, the, um, you know, when you enter the station, you know, it tells the trains what the heck to do. Um, so I'm guessing I'm guessing the trains come in this way, come into the station, and then they probably leave this way. Um, you know, because I mean that that's just what I'm thinking. Because most of the time you'd have trains, you know, they it would start as a track like that, and also, well, actually, hmm, because on because in England they drive on the left side. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, but you know, it just overall this project is super impressive. Um, you know, just just look at how much time it must have taken. To make these curves, I mean, like, oh, look, you can see the train, the trains floating over there. Um, get the outside too, like, you know, it, it's just like, look, look at this view right here. I mean, it's like, it's just this with shaders on, you know. And again, I apologize for not having shaders because I have a MacBook Air and it completely fries my computer when I have shaders. I can still do the replay recordings for the cinematics, but I just can't, I just can't review. It, like fly around in shaders just gonna kill the computer so um yeah i mean this this is just it's it's just so cool i mean you, you just gotta stand here and, and look at look at the detail i mean it's not super detailed because it's one to one scale it's a small scale but at the same time i mean it's just they just did such a good a good job at getting the feel getting the immersive feel and that's what i really love about it so um, here's some roof details. If you need any inspira inspiration for roof stuff, there you go. Um, I guess these are probably yeah, these are definitely custom models. Let's see, they use stone cutters. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, and you know, the, the this build is is you know, it's just so so detailed. I mean, like, you know, I'm just it's just super impressive. Um, Let's see what what's this blue building here? I guess you know this bu blue building. Let's see, is it like oh, there's stairs. Where do these stairs go? Here, I, all right. I'm guessing there's probably some some significance to this. Um, what's back here? Is it like a? Ba I bet you this is probably like a bathroom area eventually. Um, yeah, man, I I love this. Though. There's just here. Um, these stairs probably. Yeah, so I think in the future they're going to be doing like underground stuff, you know, the London Underground. I'm guessing like that has something to do with it. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just going to guess that that's there for a reason. I mean, everything here. I mean, like they they went on Google on like the they looked at the interior of this and they basically replicated it exactly. So that's what I'm, you know, that's what's just super impressive about this. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Um, 
that is the Waterloo Station. And again, I mean, l let's just look at these tracks, man. I mean, these trains are just so good. And you can even, like, kind of go inside them a little bit, you know. I mean, obviously, you know, it's really difficult to take all that time to make the inside of the trains with the models. So, but again, just look, look at the street details. I mean... You know, and this was all made by, you know, biome textures, you know, like making stuff specific, making, so what you can do in, in Java edition, you can make it so that if you have Optifine, you can make biome specific textures, so you can change the biome of a texture and it changes the, the block, so like, you know, and then you can make them also connect up somehow. Obviously, it goes wrong when you're connecting things sometimes because, you know, Minecraft blocks are just like that. I mean, it's difficult, but honestly, it still looks better, especially if you zoom out or if you fly out, I mean, it almost gives you the illusion of just being one line, so that, I mean, like, and th this just, you, you just look at it, and you know that, like, you know, it feels like London, it looks like London, yeah, it looks, uh, it's just, ex it's, like, exact, basically, and so, anyways, that's what I love about this project, you definitely need to check this out in person, because it is just so good, uh, there's, I'll have the Planet Minecraft, um, link in the description, and um yeah so definitely go and check this out i mean and also the you know i'll have the ip and everything if you want to build on this project there's a you know there's also going to be information i'll just you know have that in the description as well but um yeah this is super impressive took two months built by jay um and i mean just just look at this just just look at this like are you, are you kidding me i mean this is just <laughs> Oh my god, this is so impressive. Okay, so that's enough for this build. I really hope you enjoyed. As I said, I'm leaving all the information to view this project as well as help build it in the description. Lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, this is just the first episode of a series that I expect to be amazing. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.